Big Boar Barbecue presents Seven Rivers Racing with Dan Diker and Billy Doc Niles. Today's program is brought to you by Big Boar Barbecue on Highway 16 West Salem and Downtown La Crosse. Big Boar Barbecue, now that's a mouthful. By Cary Heating and Air Conditioning, your residential specialist on La Crosse's north side. By Pizza Hut in La Crosse and Winona. Pizza Hut, now here's Dan with this week's show. Hey, Reese fans, Big Boar Barbecue presents Seven Rivers Racing KQEG TV. I'm Dan Dyker, Billy Doc Niles, and maybe Paul Riker. We're not sure yet. They're going to be popping by as well as we uh, have our program in one of the worst places, if you know me, to film a TV show with my appetite and the attitude I have towards food. We are outside of Big Boar Barbecue, the title sponsor of the program, and it's really hard for me to hold back the frothing of the mouth. I should have got a napkin to wipe away the mouth because there's food laid out all over me out here today. And this is really rough. So we're gonna to try to make this half an hour program work without me just putting the mic down and diving onto a picnic table. Uh, we're gonna do some interviews with Big World Barbecue and a special event they have here. Matter of fact, that's gonna be a rescheduled event. Uh, we're gonna tell you about here in a couple of minutes. Uh, real quickly, we're gonna recap the activity from the La, uh, La Crosse Fairgrounds Speedway last weekend. Uh, of course, in the late models, we had uh, son holding off father, Mike Carlson beating Mike, uh, Steve Carlson in the LA model feature. We've got fair coming up this week, so 220 lap features will be coming your way. In the sportsman's bad Brad Worth, and uh, he now ties point leader Randy Humphill with three wins apiece on the year. Uh, Worth and pretty much unstoppable over the weekend. Via a DQ from Bill Schott, Adam Moore gets the win in the Thunderstocks, and in the vintage race, it was Pat Eklund. Uh, he takes the win over the entire field. Of course, everybody has seen by now the big wreck that uh, Ken Lewis got into in his throwback to trickle car over the front straight wall. Uh, car's out for the year, but Kenny's up and around, and he is doing all right. Again, coming up this weekend, we've got twin 20-lap NASCAR features at the Lacrosse Fairground Speedway as a part of Fair Week. So we hope you go out, spend some money at the fair, have a good time, and then come on over and watch the number one street drags Friday night. I'll be grabbing the microphone there. And then number two, I'll be grabbing the mic for the Lacrosse Speedway Saturday. Saturday night. Then third, well, go to the Cooley Go-Kart Raceway. They're going to be go-kart racing Sunday at noon. So there is your recap as we see some very familiar cars going by the uh, Big Boar Barbecue, uh, part of our street drag program. Jerry Byers is going to join us this afternoon, and uh, Jerry, of course, owns this beautiful facility. But also has one in downtown La Crosse and a new one in the north side of La Crosse. Jerry, good to meet you, my friend. Nice to meet you, Dan. And like I told him when I first walked up in my very first words where you've got some hell of coleslaw going on some of the best in this part of the state thank you i appreciate that we uh, uh we uh that's our own recipe how's business been i know you started things off big board barbecue in this location here in west salem i want to say three four five years ago as i used to pass this going from sparta to the racetrack uh, a good plantation foundation right here in west salem yeah in 2010 we started here with a cook shack uh in 14 we built this restaurant and the next year we built the catering kitchen behind and then you move to downtown La Crosse, where my wife and I go at least once a week. Appreciate that. We uh, opened there in December of 15. And a steady stream of people. I, I DJ downtown as well, so I'm always going past there down 3rd Street. And it looks like business is really, really good. Uh, hopefully the college kids, when they come back, start realizing some of the best barbecue can be found downtown. Yeah, we hope so. We think uh, it could be really good for them. North Side of La Crosse started within the past six months uh, up on George Street across from the grocery store. I've yet to stop by that location, but you're closest to my house. So tell them to get ready used to uh, Dan Dyker and his family stopping by. I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah, the, the, there's a cook shack on that location right now. Uh, we're looking strongly at the possibility of uh, building a restaurant there. Now, if you look at barbecue in western Wisconsin, La Crosse, had only really one big name that people were turning to, so I feel that the need was there for another reputable barbecue store. It sure seems like it. Uh, we're getting compliments all the time. Uh, traffic's been good. Uh, we're, we're just really thrilled with it and happy to be there. Now, the gentleman that's sitting to the left of me is Blaine Lee, the president of the 608 Piston Pounders. Obviously, Mother Nature is not going to play fair on what you had going on here tonight. Uh, Blaine, what was going on here in the parking lot of Big Boar Barbecue in West Salem? Well, it was starting out really well. We were getting a lot of cars pulling in here, and everything was looking good. But unfortunately, Mother Nature is playing with us tonight. And we are rescheduling for August 16th. We're going to have a big one again then. Hopefully, we can give out a few trophies. And I just want everybody to get home safe here before... 
something brews too hard. Or get inside and eat. Yeah, that would be one. <laughs> That's but what I'm these thinking guys about. want to get their cars old. Talk about the, the the car club. There's a lot of them here in Western Wisconsin. I usually get to announce several of them when they go to the home and car show each year at the Speedway. Uh, when, it, when, when I announce street drags, uh, there's a lot of familiar cars from here that go out there. How big of a group do you have? Well, we started out, this is quite a story. A year and a half ago, three of us were sitting down having breakfast and we decided we're going to start our own car club. Today, at this point... The best decisions always start with food. Yep, evidently. <laughs> As of today, we have 66 members. Wow. So this car club is growing really good, and, it, and we try to keep it fun. That's why I think we have such a good membership. It's all about having cars, liking your cars, and having fun with them, and everybody getting together and having fun, and it's worked out really well. So Jerry, how did you get connected with the uh, 608 Piston Pounders? They like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and and I like old cars and we decided to have a cruise night and uh, the Piston Pounders and the Tri-State Ford Club uh, both kind of worked to help me getting going with a, a cruise night here uh, and uh, so they're both kind of active with us uh, probably a little more so with the Pounders and uh, I'm a member of both and uh, hell barbecue and food cars go together. <laughs> yeah. oh, they've gone together for a long, long time. And location-wise, right here along this huge stretch of Highway 16 to West Salem, everybody gets to see what's being on display. Yeah, it works out really well here. And we're we're hoping this is going to grow into a big event right here. And we got good food. We got a good location. And if we get our name out there, I, I think it's going to turn out real well for us. So. Hey, have you grabbed one of those trophies that's right here? These are what we're going to be giving away tonight for uh, some of the entries that were here, and of course, they've rescheduled this to the 16th of August now, and hopefully we get to come back out and maybe talk to some of the winners. What are some of the classes uh, you give awards to? Well, some of the classes are the, I'm just going to show you the bigger one. This is the oh wow Piston Pounders pick. This is a club pick that we decide on which car we like. And we got some different categories. We got my old car. We have my old truck. We have one category just for a little fun. It's called most likely to get pulled over. We've had a lot of fun with that one. Well, you know, Matt Henderson's got his late model sitting out here, so I think he may That'd have be been a good candidate. Yeah, he would have been one of those to get a, to get an, uh, an unusual award. And then we we have a, a people's choice pick, so everybody gets a chance to vote on the pick. And the last one we have because. We're a lot about family, too, with this club. And some of the little kids in our club, they get a chance to pick out their own car. So we call it the Little Pistons Pick. So that's a trophy we made up for that. And that goes over real well. People like that. So. Well, of course, we're, not again, not going to be able to give those away tonight as they rescheduled the finale here at Big Boar Barbecue till uh, August 16th. Uh, hopefully these guys can stay around because when we come back, we're going to talk to some of the drivers of some of these classic cars and a little bit more about Big Board Barbecue as they present Seven Rivers Racing. You don't have to fly to Kansas City to get great barbecue. Or you don't have to drive down to Des Moines to get great pulled pork too. <laughs> if you want ribs, the best in town, pulled pork or chicken too. Just come on down for the best food in town at Big Boar Barbecue. Hi, this is Jerry Byer, and I'm pleased to announce the opening of our new location. We're bringing our delicious ribs, pulled pork, and brisket to the north side of La Crosse. Now, if you live on the north side and you want delicious barbecue ribs, pulled pork, or brisket, now you'll find our Big Boar Cook Shack parked on the corner of George and Gillette Street every Wednesday through Sunday. We're just a short walk from your door. So come on over and sink your teeth into the barbecue voted best in La Crosse County. Don't forget takeout, Big Boar Barbecue. Now that's a mouthful. Yeah! Whatever your perfect temperature, you'll enjoy consistent comfort with the heating and air conditioning systems homeowners rank number one. American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning. 
Carry Heating and Air Conditioning, your residential specialist, providing Cooley Region families with perfect indoor weather all year long. Call for your free estimate today, 608 782 0977. Have you tried the Great Lunch Buffet at Pizza Hut? Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1.30, Pizza Hut in La Crosse and Winona offers you an all-you-can-eat lunch buffet for just $5.99. All the salad, pasta, breadsticks, and of course, delicious piping hot pizza you can eat. How about dinner? Don't get up, get online and get a large two-topping pizza for just $7.99. It's the best pizza delivery deal at your La Crosse and Winona Pizza Hut. Call for delivery or order online. Pizza Hut. Welcome back. Big Boy Barbecue presents Seven Rivers Racing KQE GTV. I'm radio man Dan Dyker. Along with me is Billy Doc Niles. Paul Reichert is going to step in as well. And before we even put a camera on Bill or Paul, you got to get a camera on what we're about to divulge here in segments number two and three. Get your hands off my food. Well, Rick Wilson told us what was coming out, and after after Jerry Beyer from Big Boy Barbecue told me we were bringing, Rick said, okay, well, what's Bill Doc Niles eating? This is this is actually the Diker appetizer platter right here. That uh, is. We're only 30 seconds into this segment. I can't believe you haven't shoveled it all onto your plate yet. Well, I wanted to make sure we got a good camera shot before these ends. I'm, I'm going to start dishing right. Dude, dude That one's going to go there. Piece of bread. You you have two hands. We're not going to serve you. <sighs> Thank you. So while we Paul Riker dish it up. Hey, while we uh, while we get this going here. <laughs> Big night of racing coming up this week in Lacrosse Fairgrounds Speedway. 220 lap features during the Interstate Fair. I want to go back to Tuesday night, and I put this on my Facebook. I was watching a couple of feeds from the Slinger Nationals, and everybody in the world knows about Ty Majeski getting into the back end of Bubba Pollard, stopping on the front straightaway, and tapping and allowing himself to go to the back and Bubba Pollard to take the top spot. Reactions. Well, I think that's just a, a great rule. Bubba doesn't see that in the South. They don't have that. So uh, he wasn't sure what was going on there, but when uh, Ty did that and no doubt the crew explained it to him about what was going on, and that was, I think that's a sign of a true champion who owns up to their mistake and uh, is willing to bite the bullet. Billy Doc. You know, it's, I've seen a lot of the posts uh, go 50-50 on this. You know, some people are... I like the gentleman's agreement. I always have. If you've if you've dialed somebody, you know it's it's kind of cool. You tap. They uh, they're supposed to give the driver who got spun out his his spot back, and then uh, I'm not going to have any food left if I if I keep talking. And then you That's know why you, I put you the go question to, to you guys yeah. first. I like the gentleman's agreement. I think it was cool that Ty used it. I think it's even cooler that Bubba Pollard comes up here and finally wins a race here in Wisconsin. And uh, you know if he's that good at Slinger. You know, last night or uh, you know Tuesday night, what's he going to be like when he gets to uh, Kakana? What's he going to be like if he gets to Lacrosse? I mean, he's starting to get some momentum here in Wisconsin. Other thing with Bubba Pollard, he came up last year was a complete pile. It was like he was a rookie driving a late model at the Slinger Nationals, and Paul had a really good recap on your Facebook. Totally different Bubba Pollard. I guarantee he had some notes with him this year. Yeah, last year, like I said, he couldn't do jack last year in his first visit to Slinger. He was struggling mightily, and uh, I think, I don't know if he came up here and maybe did some testing at Slinger during the season prior to this, but uh, he he definitely, it was night and day basically this year, versus, last year versus this year. So he was just like he normally was at any track. You know, on a guest on our radio show this week, Rich Bickle, former NASCAR driver, North, uh, former uh, truck driver, uh, been in a super lane and lab model for years, only put five laps in. And, you know, watching what he's done at Slinger in the past, Billy Doc Nels, very disappointing for him. Oh, most definitely. I mean, he's, he's won the Slinger Nationals like three times. Uh, definitely one of the favorites going in. I mean, and what a stellar field they had. We're, we're talking about top-notch fields every time we go to an Arkham Midwest Tour race or a Slinger Nationals. Uh, this is this is some tough competition. Bubba Pollard comes up, whoops on him. Rich Bickle, you you think he's one of the favorites because he's won it three times? Not to be, you know, on Tuesday night. Why hasn't Bubba Pollard been to Oktoberfest, and does he go this year? God, that's what I thought when he was on the entry list for last year, and he didn't show up, just like with uh, Kakana last year, the Dixie Line 250. I, I got a funny feeling he will show up this year, Kakana, and I. 
certainly hope uh, he shows up at Oktoberfest. Of course, last year he ran the All-American 400, won that in Nashville the weekend before, and was a little disappointed in that. But if he if he runs this year's All-American 400, which I believe is the same weekend before Oktoberfest, I have a I have a funny feeling he will show up at Oktoberfest this year. Billy Knocknells, when I interviewed him down in Madison a couple of months ago, he had also said to expect to see him five or six times uh, up in the Midwest, primarily Wisconsin. Does he come to Fest, and if he does, what does he bring to the field? Oh, he brings a little more national attention. You don't get that much attention from the south up here in Wisconsin. Bubba Pollard, one of the biggest guns down in the south right now, comes up to Wisconsin, wins a race last night, already brings attention from the south. Other people are going to start looking at this and say, hey, you know, if he does that well up there, maybe we should go up there and try it too. That would be something cool to see some of the biggest guns coming to Wisconsin and taking on what I consider the cream of the crop anywhere in the nation right now. you got Ty Majeski, just, just to name, you know, just to single one out because he is. And uh, it would be great to see them all come up here and challenge him. Twin 20 Live features coming up at Lacrosse Speedway tonight. Matt Henderson from KQEG TV is going to join us here in the next segment. Last weekend, Mike Carlson beats his dad, and of course we get the, did dad really let him win, or did Mike really have that much? I think Steve was pretty honest in his post previous interview with me that Mike, who worked on his car all week, had something for his dad, and Steve was not going to win that race. Yeah, I definitely agree. I think Mike definitely was definitely uh, really had his car working good, and Steve really couldn't do much with uh, Mike, just like he did in the in the dash, and uh, that was a that was definitely a good show to see. Uh, Mike beat uh, Steve. I think it's been quite a while since that happened. We saw that uh, back and forth competition last year several times. Nick Panitsky surprised the night. I talked to his wife afterwards uh, at the pay stand, uh, and she said there's something in the motor. Uh, they were pretty disgusted at it. Had a bad qualifying, bad heat race, bad feature. I think Carlson's overtaking him in the point lead, but don't count out Panitsky yet. Oh, no, not yet. I mean, you know, a couple of bad weeks. That, let's face it. Uh, couple of bad weeks aren't going to hurt you but if it continues you know then you're then you're going to be uh you're going to be digging a deep hole i think mike carlson has had probably the worst luck at getting through traffic of anybody all year and uh for him to come out and finally win a race is cool to see you know now you're starting to see different winners we saw matt henderson two weeks ago mike carlson you know paninski steve carlson majeski now you're getting a getting a big crowd here this is going to be fun to watch the rest of the year if we get more first time feature winners sportsman's wise brad worthen is now tied to randy humphill this year three wins apiece it's pretty much going to come down to both of them for the track championship chase championship started last week does bad brad worthen have enough stability wise car wise to overtake humfeld it he he might um if you're coming off that uh, bad wreck he got caught up in the week before I, I i i think he he's been he's able to hang with uh uh randy, or the randy helmfeld here for a few weeks so i i think if he keeps it up he he might just be able to pull it off maybe do got to mention the horrific crash that i called of ken lewis last week billy wasn't there he was up at fest rock drink uh, sunburn yes, whatever yes, we were calling yes, that yes, thing and yes what a terrible crash Terrible crash. I watched that video. That was that was incredible. And then you got to see the in-car video also. Uh, just a, just an you know, unbelievable crash. Man, it looked like once he hit the 91 car, he accelerated to the inside. So uh, hopefully uh, he's able to get that back together. I'm glad Kenny's okay. Great guy. Great car. And uh, it's too bad something like that had to happen. Before we go to break here, did you have any flashbacks? Because your late model ended up the same spot as Ken Lewis's, except I, you got to walk away with the hood. Yeah, I, I watched that and thought, wow, that's eerily similar to something that happened to me a few years ago. Well, that's it. He was just concentrating on food. He didn't want to get into the logistics <laughs> behind that. I'll never forget Bill Doc Niles. <laughs> Maybe our producer, Jesse, can find that video of him walking down the front straight. With a hood. We're going to talk more Little Model Racing here in a couple of minutes. He's got KQE GTV in his car. What a feature two weeks ago. And he would like some dinner as well. From Big Boar Barbecue, this is Seven Rivers Racing. You don't have to fly to Kansas City to get great barbecue. Or oh, you don't have to drive down to Des Moines to get great pulled pork too. If you want ribs, the best in town, pulled pork or chicken too, then just come on down for the best food in town at Big Boar Barbecue. 
Hi, this is Jerry Byer, and I'm pleased to announce the opening of our new location. We're bringing our delicious ribs, pulled pork, and brisket to the north side of La Crosse. Now, if you live on the north side and you want delicious barbecue ribs, pulled pork, or brisket, now you'll find our Big Boar Cook Shack parked on the corner of George and Gillette Street every Wednesday through Sunday. We're just a short walk from your door. So come on over and sink your teeth into the barbecue voted best in La Crosse County. Don't forget takeout. Big Boar Barbecue. Now that's a mouthful. Yeah! Whatever your perfect temperature, you'll enjoy consistent comfort with the heating and air conditioning systems homeowners rank number one. American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning. Cary Heating and Air Conditioning, your residential specialists, providing Cooley Region families with perfect indoor weather all year long. Call for your free estimate today, 608-782-0977. Have you tried the Great Lunch Buffet at Pizza Hut? Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1.30, Pizza Hut in La Crosse and Winona offers you an all-you-can-eat lunch buffet for just $5.99. All the salad, pasta, breadsticks, and of course, delicious piping hot pizza you can eat. How about dinner? Don't get up, get online and get a large two-topping pizza for just $7.99. It's the best pizza delivery deal at your La Crosse and Winona Pizza Hut. Call for delivery or order online. Pizza Hut. Welcome back. Big More Barbecue presents Simmers Racing KQEG TV. Hello, I'm Billy Doc Niles. I am Radio Man Dan Diker. You notice uh, in between breaks, I have not really had to devour too much right here. I'm disappointing my, my food fans out there. We have got through Platter 1. Platter 2 is on its way. Of course, Rick and Jesse need to get fed. And Bill Doc Niles just ate like that since he hasn't eaten in about a month and a half. Our guest, Matt Henderson, all this barbecue here. And, and Matt, all you do is get a piece of bread. What's up with that? Bread's really good. That's all I so say. is pulled pork, coleslaw, baked beans, macaroni, ribs, chicken. Oh, well, like Doc was saying earlier, I might. Get right, my wait, Doc, let him hold the mic since you're tr he's trying to two hand it over here. Like he was saying earlier, I might get my hand stabbed there if I try and grab any out of you guys. So, uh, congrats, uh, feature race winner two weeks ago. Man, that had to feel good because I hate to bring it up. It was eight years, and man, did that yeah. have to feel good. It was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, it's been since 2009. We won two, and thought we were just getting started. Thought we'd get a couple every year, you know, and just the competition is so stiff. All the cars are so close. I think that's why we're seeing so many different winners this year. All the cars are so close, and I'm just happy that I was able to get up there and, and get one, and hopefully it's not the last. Let's, uh, let's talk about that feature for a minute here. Uh, yellow flag, you jumped to the outside on the 18 car. Did you think you'd had the move to go by him like you did? Well, not really, I guess. I thought, I knew the caution helped us big time because I think I was faster than Wagner at that point in the race, but I didn't have the car to get past him. I couldn't pass him on the outside, and he wasn't going to give me the inside, obviously. So the caution came out, and I thought about just staying low, and you know, but then there's no way I'm going to win. So I thought, what the heck? I I don't get this opportunity every day. I'm just going to go outside and give it all I can, see what happens. That's what I did, and somehow I, I just bonsaied it down into three and four. I think that's where I got them, and somehow it stuck and got the lead, and I was able to. The car was really, really tight after that caution, but somehow we, we hung on. So. I was going to say, sticking was the last thing it was doing with about three to four laps to go, and I thought you were going sideways twice at a turn four. Talk about what's going through your mind. you got Brad Powell right there. You know he's quick. You know he's fast. He's one of the past. You're trying to get that monkey off your back over eight years. What's going through your mind over the last three or four laps? Uh, usually, well, I kept on looking up at the scoring pylon, you know, every five laps or so I'd check to see where Powell was, Carlson, if any of the other fast guys are coming because I knew my car really wasn't handling all that well as everyone saw coming out of four but um, once he got behind me I think there's seven laps to go and I there's no way I'm gonna be able to hold off Brad Powell for seven laps and he didn't have I, I didn't have a gap on him or anything when once he got around Wagner he was right there and I thought for sure he'd go inside or something but I don't know. I drove my guts out, and somehow we pulled it off, and just very happy. Now, this was your primary car. Uh, 
you didn't have a very good night the week before when you brought it out for the first time. Did you have a, you, you, and you, apparently you told Dan you thought you might have had a top three car that night. Did you really have that much confidence in it? Well, we are always buried at work. We never have time to go test like we should. And we just figured let's bring the, let's bring the car to the track. We're not going to learn anything unless it's at the racetrack. So we know we had a good backup car, but we wanted to get the primary car out. That's the one we've been working on. And so opening night, we just chased the thing all night. You know, we were too low and we were bottoming out. That was the biggest thing. And, but once we got the right heist right in that feature, I pulled in as we were scrubbing tires because I was bottoming out. They put a few turns in the left front, and we went out, and I think I was half a lap down, caught the entire field, and passed. I was up passing for seventh when we got spun out there, and so the car was actually pretty handling pretty well. And uh, then the second night out is when we won the feature. So, And last week was not a very good night for us either, but it's a brand-new car. We don't know which setup's going to be the best in it, so we're still trying, you know, trying to fine-tune and try different things in it, see what it likes. It's not like the backup car. and So, yeah, we're just trying things out, and obviously what we did last week won't be in the car this week because it didn't work very well. you got a big board of corn muffin that you're going to eat here with some honey butter. butter. It, you, you're going to get this by coming to Big Board Barbecue, both here in West Salem, <coughs> north side of La Crosse, and, of course, in downtown La Crosse. Um, your media man, Tom Ludwigson, put something on your Facebook this week, with, with I, which I thought was a great testament. The hard work paid off. You guys could have given up. You blew three motors in a year and a half. You haven't won eight years. You've had flat tires in the worst part of that racetrack. Perseverance and dedication paid off with not just you but the whole race team. Yeah, it takes all of us, you know. Uh, it's been so long that you start questioning things. Is it me? Is it my, you know, what am I doing wrong? Is it the car? What the heck can we do better? Because we are we got, I think we got one of the best cars out there. My dad always everything's brand new all the time and we're just working our guts out trying to figure out why the heck we show up and get smoked every week you know and so over time that gets hard but when we got a good team behind us everyone you know we're our own cheerleaders we we cheer each other on and yeah it took a it took all of us that's for sure you know uh dan has always called you always in the hunt and thanks to your dad you are now hollywood henderson uh, what's Dad's thinking behind calling you Hollywood? Well, Mike Belling always people always called him Hollywood. Be, I don't know why, with his sunglasses, and he's always always doing the interviews, and so he jokingly started calling me Hollywood. You know, if there was an interview I had to do, it'd be oh, there's Hollywood over there, and you know that kind of thing. <laughs> so, but when we were filming this commercial, Jesse said my dad's a natural, so now I think he's the new Hollywood because he's the uh, natural at acting. So. Hollywood Henderson Jr., is that what I should call you? I guess. You can call me whatever you want. you got a pretty impressive list of sponsors here. Why don't you tell us who's helping you out this year? Yeah, we've had all mostly all these sponsors have been with us since the beginning, and uh, we couldn't do it without them. DriveAltra.org, Riverside Corporate Wellness jumped on last year. Proud to have them. KQEG TV jumped on this year. Always happy to have them on the car. Uh, and appreciate all they do for our, our sport and our racetrack with all the filming and e this show they film the races that's pretty impressive and we're proud that they're on our car crest precast concrete custom excavating bond drywall supply hungry peddler sport clips carlson's min coda dealer hess excavating bernie's equipment dj dan diker <laughs> <laughs> Speed Trap Video and Jenna Walker Photography, and we very greatly appreciate all of our sponsors. We're proud to have you guys. I DJ these smokers for free every year for a lot of these racers, and they were graciously have put them on the race cards. Matt Henderson, thanks for joining us, so good luck for the rest of the season. I'll be have a Paul Reichert who's already cleaned his plate off. Billy is about ready for round two. I'm the host, so of course I'm way behind. Big Bar Barbecue, West Salem, the North Side of La Crosse are on George Street, and also check them out downtown 3rd Street. That's it for the show because you know what it's about to happen. This is Seven Rose Racing, KQEG TV. You've been watching the Big Boar Barbecue presentation of Seven Rivers Racing on KQEG TV. Seven Rivers Racing is brought to you by Big Boar Barbecue on Highway 16 West Salem and downtown La Crosse. Big Boar Barbecue, now that's a mouthful.
by Cary Heating and Air Conditioning, your residential specialist on La Crosse's north side, by Pizza Hut in La Crosse and Winona. Pizza Hut, join us next week at this same time for Doc and Dan and Seven Rivers Racing on KQEG-TV.